going from your inventor file, your 3D model right here, into the 3D printer is a pretty simple uh, process. You can start with your part file right here. So I've got my little chess piece right here that I want to 3D print. So first step is after you save it and everything, of course, you want to go to File to Export as a CAD format. So this will let you get a 3D file. The save type as, I'm going to click it and drop that all the way down to the bottom as an STL file, which stands for stereolithography. It's a type of 3D file. And I'm just going to give it a name, or pawn4.stl. And it hits, before I hit save, hit this options button. A lot of times it's defaulted right here to this prep. That's a very low resolution file. What we'd want to do is we want to change this resolution to medium. It's going to be a lot more accurate. Our units also right here, we want to set that to millimeter. Most 3D printing software defaults to millimeters, so I want to change this units to millimeters. and Hit OK. So then I can hit save. So even though if I look at my drawing right here, you know, I'm in inches. That's a two inch long piece, but I want to export it in millimeters. So I have that file exported as an STL. For this one, I'm going to use our newer 3D printers, our Affinia. So on your desktop, you should have a icon right here that says Affinia Studio. You can also go down to your start menu and type in Affinia. If you click on this icon and it gives you an error saying that it's blocked on your computer or something, just raise your hand let me know because there's other ways to get to it. But you're going to open up Affinia Studio, which when you open it, it'll look like this. And I'll show you these little ads for Affinia. So this is what we have right here. This is the H400 Plus. This build plate is about four and a half by four and a half by four and a half inches. So you can't print something too big. So we're going to go over here to build. On the left hand side, hit build. All these options are grayed out unless I'm physically plugged into my printer. But I want to hit this add button. I'm going to add a 3D model. And I want to find that 3D model I just had. So here's my pawn. Here it is laying on its side. If I look at my size right here, 25.4 times 50.8 times 25.4. So that's definitely in millimeters, which if you convert that is exactly one inch by two inches by one inch. So that's the right size. If we had exported it wrong, I'm just going to show you real quick. If we export it in inches or the source units, and export on inches. So if I bring that model in here, you can see it brought it in right there. So that's obviously way too small because that brought it in as one by two by one but millimeters. If you do that, it's not the end of the world. What you can do is you can click on that piece and I can scale it. So if I hit the scale button I can change the size. Make it bigger or smaller. Uh, my stuff could go. If I come over here, I know that one inch is 25.4 millimeters, so I can do that, and that will scale it the same. But I'm going to delete that because we have our original one right here. So our piece right here is laying on its side. We don't want that. We want it laying flat on its base because as the 3D printer prints, what it does is it just goes layer by layer. So 
all this stuff that's hanging over at the top as it's printing it's going to slowly build up right there and about right here you have this stuff that's just floating in space so we don't want that so this looks like it says it will do it but it will not work correctly so we have to rotate our piece hit rotate and I've got my X Y and Z axis and I've got these plus minus 90 buttons so I'm just gonna play around with these buttons until I find one that works that looks good and then this is sitting below my plate so I want to use the move button to drop to print bits so that will bring it up so now there's my piece looks good so now I want to export that to my USB disk. So I'm going to come over here to print. Here's where I can change some of my settings. Um, I'm going to put no raft on. Actually, I'm going to turn that off. So what the raft will do is it will print an extra little piece on the outside of, at the base that peels real off real easily. I want to make sure I hit this arrow up here and turn my preheat on. So the preheating will preheat the bed of the printer and help it stick better. Lastly, over here at this drop down arrow, I don't want to hit preview because if I'm not plugged into the machine, I can't hit print. But what I can do is I can save it to file and then I can find the USB drive and I can save it. So USB drive, save it always save with your last name and what it is and it should save it as a .tsk file so I hit save now I can preview that print if I want to so there's that little raft that little extra piece around it and I can see it's going to take about 36 minutes and then we're good to go so I can take that USB drive out of my computer plug it into the back of the machine find it and print it out.